in this video we need to find the value of the double integral where r is the region bounded by the curves y equals to x square and y is equals to x to visualize the region sketch the curves y is equals to x square it is a non-linear curve even powers of x which is symmetric about y axis you can see here x square equal to y is uh, symmetric about y axis which is passes through the origin you can see the sketch of this curve y is equals to x is a straight line which is passes through the origin therefore the shaded part is the required region now we have to find the points of intersection determine where these curves intersect the region of integration is bounded by the line y is equals to x and y is equals to x square to find the points of intersection to solve y is equals to x square and y is equals to x now we set the equations equal to each other we have x square is x after rearrangement it gives x square minus x is equals to 0 implies that x into x minus 1 is 0 this gives the point of intersection at x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 1 now we substitute x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 1 back into either equation to find the corresponding y values thus we get the points as 0 0 and 1 1 you can see on the region also the limits of integration are determined by the region we just sketched it think about how the variable y varies with respect to x we can fix x we first integrate with respect to y while x as a constant now we take a vertical strip which is parallel to y axis its lower end p is lies on the curve y is equals to x square and the upper end q is q lies on the line y is equals to x therefore the lender will be able to understand the limits for y are from x square to x when we move the strip to cover the region x varies from 0 to 1 y vary from x square to x where y is equals to x square is the lower curve y is equals to x is the upper curve based on this we need to identify lower end upper limits of y therefore the limits of integration are x vary from 0 to 1 y vary from x square to x thus the double integral can be expressed as integral 0 to 1 integral y vary from x square to x integrand dy dx now our focus will be on the inner integral first remember to treat x as a constant when integrating with respect to y let us compute double integral over uh, r integrand dy dx here x vary from 0 to 1 y vary from x square to x the integrand the inner integral is integrate with respect to y while x can be treated as a constant that is most important thing the outer integral we can make integrate with respect to x first one to simplify the inner integral integrate with respect to y while x is constant x into x x square is a constant y integration 
with respect to y, y square upon 2 plus when we are going to integrate with respect to y, while x is constant x y square integration y power 3 by 3 consider the limits between x square to x. Simplify this expression after substitution of the lower limit as x square and the upper limit as x. It gives us 5 by 6 x power 4 minus 1 by 2 x power 6 minus 1 by 3 x power 7 after simple algebraic calculation. Here we have the outer integral integrate with respect to x. It is a line integral and integrate with respect to one variable. We know that uh, power integration rule integral x power n dx x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 use it and apply the limits from 0 to 1 after simple calculation we will get uh, 3 by 56. Here you need to remember some key concepts, key points identifying the curves and their uh, intersection points is uh, crucial for setting our required limits. Understanding how to set up and evaluate double integrals which is uh, essential in multivariable calculus. Apart from this, breaking the problem into inner integral as well as outer integral which helps us in evaluating complex integrants.